Hello everyone, welcome to Game Tech UK. Having another play on the Oculus. More free content, more storytelling content. This one is called Nanite Fulcron. Uh, strange name. Um, it's in terms of storytelling, we've had Alamet um, that I reviewed on the channel. Um, quite a basic VR title, but full of emotion and a and a and a great way to tell a story. Then we moved on to Dear Angelica, which was fantastically beautiful, a lot of emotion, a really fantastic way to, to tell stories. And I'm getting really excited about this medium for telling stories. Now, this one is, as I say, called Nanite Fulcrum. Um, it's a comic. Now, I'm not a massive comic fan, but I'm looking for that next generation way of telling stories. Comic is all about stories, immersion, uh, getting right into the characters. I know nothing about this title. Um, it's described as half comic, half mini game. Um, I don't know what I'm going to record of the experience, whether I'm going to read the comic out to you. I'm just going to play it by ear. So let's get in and have a look. This is my second go at doing this video. The first attempt, I was reading out the comic. Now, when I watched the video back, I thought, this is this is too long. The content of this video isn't about the actual story within the comic. It's a VR video, isn't it? So I'm not gonna worry about the story. I'm gonna show you the elements of this game and the VR elements of this game. Keep it nice and short and sweet. Right, I love this little effect where, uh, first and foremost, I... that's gone. <laughs> <laughs> I've lost that. I love the um, hands in this in this in this VR um, in, in this. The, the hands are the best VR I've ever seen. I think um, you can almost feel what that would feel like. The texture of it. Right. There's. So here we're putting these on, and that's it. We're in the VR world now. You know, it's, again, that lovely loading screen gives me a real VR effect. It's absolutely awesome. We've got the comic. Now, now this comic we can literally get and, and, and hold. If it's got a blue border you can literally put your head over it um, and you're actually in here. So this is a bonus panel. Um, I'm not sure what this section does. I can't work out what it is. So anyway, press B to go back. And we're clicking through the story. Now this story um, is about, um, I think it's about bacteria, small little animals. Again, we put that over our head. Now the thing that I'm finding is, yeah, it's a great way to visit a new scene. But at the moment in this experience, it's nothing more than a transition. It's simply a transition from there to that scene. And it's no more, these aren't interactive. And, and it sort of uh, disappointed me a little bit. Um, so we're just going to flip through here. Like I say in the last video, um, I read all this out. Now what I would like to see, I know the idea behind this this experience is that you've got a normal 2D, <laughs> 2D experience comic. But I would like this bit to be 3D. I'd like the, the words to just be hovering out a little bit. But I suppose the aspect and the, the idea of this is we've got a normal comic and we go into the comic. So they're not going to make the comic themselves um, 3D. There's one here. That looks cool. Really nice. But again, it's not. it's only a scene transition. I mean, that looks beautiful, and she's got a really cool look about her. I love the art style of that. But yeah, it's just a, it's just a transition. Um, it's not actually doing anything. So we go back there, and they're basically saying, um, again, another scene. Fantastic. That looks very flat over there. You can see that's not VR. This is really good, but again, wouldn't it be nice to pick that up, chuck that over there, to be able to navigate your way around this comic book somehow? It's not, it's just a, a transition to, to another scene. Brilliant, I love the idea of it. I love that clasp, that metal clasp, I love that. And this, this sort of effect of coming off of it is simply an only effect you can find that is in VR. There's no other way you can experience graphics like that. Look at the graphics and what it's doing. You can't experience that anywhere else other than VR. Like, I fucking love VR. <laughs> so here, this is what they're saying is, is you can't shoot because the bullets will ricochet around and kill everyone. That that looks really good. I like that. That's their sergeant has been attacked by these bacteria 
but again it's, you know it's brilliant but it's not giving any it's not giving me anything because it's not interactive it feels very disconnected uh, right, let's go in this one oh that's pretty freaky see again if, if he was moving maybe not just swiveling round if he was moving that looks horrible doesn't it it's a bacteria Ooh. and he is huge as well he's probably about five or six foot wide awesome don't get me wrong I'm not hating on the uh, the thing it's free it's awesome I love it but I was really hoping for more when I first started it that looks nice right we're going into this one this one is a mini game and, it, and it's very strange as well it's almost like a teleportation I think we click on this that takes us into the game now you've got these bullets heading towards the sergeant there which looks pretty gross you have to wait for him to get a bit nearer and then you just jump from one one to another and you get a, a score look at the look at the guns that look. look at oh you got them sort of uh, bacteria on there so yeah it's okay it's all good something new look at them look oh, it's disgusting absolutely disgusting oh so again you can pull that where you want it so yeah that's it really what do I think of it well oh I, as you go through you get you, you get things that you can find so I've got one more thing to find it's okay I would I was expecting more of an immersive story not just a viewing a different way to view scenes that's what I felt um, I like it I would definitely go to episode two if there's going to be an issue two I'm sure there is is it going to be paid for is it con going to continue being free that's that's a question we got to wait to get answered um, it was good it was okay as a storytelling it was nowhere near as good as dear Angelica but it was great it's free it's on the oculus store now if you want me to read out the full story I will do I don't think it needs it personally because this channel isn't a storytelling channel it's about the VR and that's what I want to try get across to you but if you want me to go into more detail not a problem I certainly will uh, but for this video that's it and I'll see you next time